A combat veteran from Gros Seal has come up with a huge challenge to raise money for a charity that's near and dear to his heart. PJ Ramsey planning to jump into the Detroit River at Gros Seal and swim more than six miles down to the Detroit Light at the start of Lake Erie. Sean Lay live out on the Detroit River with PJ's story. Sean. Devin Kimberly, we're on the Westcott. Thanks for them to bringing us out. First of all, I want to show you a lot. One is beautiful downtown Detroit here on the river. Absolutely gorgeous. But also take a look at this, the Detroit River and the current. So unpredictable, unpredictable water temperatures. And this is a shipping challenge. Combat veteran PJ is going to jump in here with others for a big time six mile swim in this. And he's raising awareness to veterans, mental health, veteran suicide. He is very open about it. Give PJ a listen right now. He, well, his words are something else. I get out there and a lot of times I'll have conversations with guys that, no long, that are no longer here. Or it gives me time to essentially get emotional, not, not around anybody and maybe purge a little bit out there. PJ Ramsey, Navy combat veteran, says the water is his refuge. For the kind of work he did for the Navy, for all of us, combat, it's where he can clear his head and find his peace. Open water swims in the Detroit River where he says he connects with the combat vets no longer here. It gets me a chance to get out there and make peace with things I've done in the past and connect with some guys that are no longer here and just a peaceful environment for me to be in. September 23rd, Ramsey and others swim in open water Detroit River 10K through a shipping channel. It's dangerous. He wants to put the spotlight on veteran suicide, specifically to raise money for the Step Up Foundation. Navy SEAL Chad Wilkinson took his life entering his 21st year of active duty. His wife, Sarah, with the foundation, tries to get vets mental health support. I'm with my own personal struggles with transitioning out of the service. I had uh, suicidal ideation and attempt, struggle with substance abuse, PTS, uh, went out and got some help for it and that was probably the hardest thing I've ever done was say the word help. The mission is for the Step Up Foundation who wants to change the narrative concerning the number of veteran suicides by dramatically expanding awareness. All right, back here live along the beautiful Detroit River. Really striking to hear a Navy combat veteran PJ saying the hardest thing he has ever done is ask for help. Veteran, Navy veteran training, he saw combat. The hardest thing is ask for help. It's good for others to actually hear that. Here's what's going to happen too on the 23rd. You've got local law enforcement, fire, Coast Guard, uh, Border Patrol will be out here along with the Westcott. P escorting PJ and the others to make sure it is safer for them for a six mile swim. We want to thank the Westcott, Julie and Sam for getting us on here today and also thank PJ for his service. Devin. No doubt, all the way around. Uh, Sean, you mentioned just a few of the challenges here, uh, the freighter traffic, the currents, on and on and on. What does he feel is the most challenging part of an open water swim like this one? That's why I'm looking at my phone. I'm pulling up the text he just sent me that says, it all depends on what King Neptune gives us that day. No <laughs> telling what the weather will be. Winds, sea, the uh, air and water temperatures, pushing through any of the discomfort, reading the currents and winds and arriving on the target, the light, the Detroit light safely. Six miles. Guys, I love to swim. I, I can't, I wouldn't imagine swimming in this, right. the Detroit yeah. River. I can't either, but uh, it's so, so much there to admire, not the least of which is him talking about how difficult it can be to ask for help. Really great stuff. We wish him all yeah. the best. All right, Sean.